I had a custom request for a cigar pen with the cactus fiber in here. So we've got some cactus fiber cast up into some galaxy resin in there. You have blue purple shift powder with some star glitter and some white flash glitter. So we're going to get this turned up. I'm going to turn these up separate just because my tailstock is still a little off center. And when I do these full length, um, I do get just a slight oversize on one side. So I figure if I turn them up center, tailstock will be closer up. Won't have as much flex down here at the end, and that'll make it more accurate. There's some massive air bubbles right there. Have to fill those in. nature of the material I got a couple air bubbles so just filled those in with a little CA glue won't be able to even tell they were there all right let's uh, balance those out with a tool and we will go on to the next piece This one. Nice. I don't see any air bubbles in this one. Sweet. That part is cool. Little tiny pieces. Let me zoom in there. there we go. You see those little tiny pieces right there? Yeah, that's pretty neat. This is looking sick. Alright. I'm gonna get these polished up, sanded up, and uh see you back in there. I'm ready to be assembled. All right, well, we got a really good polish on that uh, cactus fiber resin. I did do a CA finish on this, and you can see that galaxy resin there shifting colors, actually. You can see that in the camera, shifting blue to purple from my ring light over there to the side. You see all those stars in there giving it a really nice effect. Really a cool piece. We're going to get this assembled. This is a cigar pen, so I've got all the parts laid out here. We're going to be doing this one in gunmetal just because of the fact that when you're dealing with space, dark colors are always better. Let's see, where are we going to put this in? So we're going to put this in. There's like one little spot right there. You can kind of see that didn't quite fill in with CA when I was doing it. So we're just going to cover that up with the clip. And, well, I'd say the customer will never know, but I tend to tell them. Ha <laughs> ha! Bad flaw, I know, but I like to be... You know, part of that full disclosure crowd. It's hard not to tell them when they could easily just go watch this on the video too. Got real good fitment on there. Looks real good. Now our concentricity line is straight back from the clip. So that's going to be really easy in assembling our bottom. So now we're going to put in our center band here. Real good fitment there too. Now for our lower half, we're going to put our tip in here. Bring that back again. Great fitment there. Can't even feel the seam. 
perfect. So there's our concentricity line there, if you can see that down there. So I'm going to leave that facing down, so I know that's the bottom. Press this end in. Being very careful not to crush those threads, you don't want to go too tight with it. Just go until it starts to resist, then press it in from the other side slightly. Much better. Now we can take our ink refill, pick that up so we know our concentricity to the bottom, put our mechanism in, thread that all the way down, wipe our fingers off because there is a little bit of grease on this mechanism so wipe your fingers off when you go to put it together. Alright so let's see how do these line up here, we'll put these together that's pretty close let's see right there so you can see these ends here this is how the cactus fiber was stacked in this way so this would be the side profile and these are the faces so we'll press that together and check for function that works really well so that one is done real nice look to it there really cool structures inside of that cactus pen all right now to take this to my buddy that one is sold.